zombies. They are a classic horror trope at this point. There's something we're all familiar with. Once you're bitten, you're no longer human. You are now an undead beast seeking out other humans to infect. It's as simple as that. They're slow moving at most of the time. Sometimes they can be fast. It really depends on the author's viewpoint on what a zombie should be. But there are a few things that remain true. The bite that starts the infection and the fact that once you destroy the brain, that's usually it. Kaput. They're done. I'm just another reader, and today I am reviewing Apocalypse No Toride, or the English name, Fort of the Apocalypse. Before we begin the review, remember to like and comment what you think I should read next, and subscribe. But, let's begin. So, as always, I will be going through the first chapter, so we can like set up what you can expect from this manga. And let me tell you, it is a short read, so maybe just one afternoon you need someone to sit down and read, this is it. But without further ado, let's begin. So, right off the bat, page number one. This is what we're starting this manga with. So, we're starting with a news report, and there's an incident where an on-duty police officer was killed. And we get the name of the police officer, what department that, and there was a man that was going berserk on the subway. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. However, once they were in the patrol car, the man suddenly began to struggle and viciously bit Sergeant Yoshida on the neck in various other areas. Due to copious loss of blood, he passed away while being taken to the hospital. So, this is a classic zombies trope. We're starting with a news report about a random, bizarre attack that's out of the ordinary. And we get a look at what city we're in. The, the main part of the story will be here. Chiba Prefecture, K-City, established in 1948. Yada yada. What you need to know is there is a prison, a juvenile pr prison here. 124 inmates, 20 prison guards, 144 total. And this, we've got a look at what you could call Shu Ron Academy. I'm going to mispronounce some words, but it is what it is. It's a juvenile reformatory. So we're looking at people under the age of 18, mostly, that are out of control. They're the troublemakers. They've committed crimes. They're not good people. Get a little bit of a look at the watchtower, and we're introduced to our new character in this sentence. Our new student, Maida, 16 years old. Pretty young to be going here. And we learn he's here for murder. And we can see the guards aren't the nicest here. They're just yelling to answer him. He's stuttering. I'm, I'm, I'm really in the dark all about all this. I didn't do anything. Please believe me. I just happened to witness the crime. And our guy just sighs. I get kids like you around here occasionally, stirring up trouble for the world, and when they get caught for something a little too big for them, they show no remorse. That's why I'm, even if you keep trying to plead your case, your sentence won't get any shorter. Do you still want to continue with these excuses? And our guy's just like, there's no use. He's here, he's past the court system, you know, he's, he's already at the end of what this road leads to. They don't really care if he's still trying to plead his case. And he's just crying, like he won't believe me. The police, the court, the adults, no one believe what I said. And he's just, damn, 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 damn. And to be honest, yeah, it, it's an unfortunate situation. And so he goes on with the process. He's got his pillow sack with them right about now. He's looking back all his friends that are going about school. He's like, I didn't even do anything. So this is him just talking to himself. He's thinking about his parents, right? And it's quite clear he didn't do the crime that he has been framed for, accused of, whatever. In his mind, he didn't do it, so I'm going to believe him. No reason not to yet. And then, so from now on, this is the place where I'll be living. The place where all the dropouts of Kanto so, have been gathered. And this is where we get a, a good look at the group. And wow, what a group of delinquents we got here. They, uh... No one's looking like they got good intentions for him. Hey, Yoshoko, take this guy to cell number four for me. Yes, sir. I'm not going to pronounce any of these names right, but we'll see what I can do. So he's in cell four, huh? What a boring looking guy. Well, he doesn't look like much, that's for sure. So cell four is where we get meet our main group. He's getting his futon. He's just like introducing himself, yada, yada. And then we meet 
the kind of leader of Cell 4. He's like, my name's Yashuko, he's 18, hope we get along. You know, pretty calm introduction. And so he's like, there's four people in this room, so you haven't met the other two yet. They're outside working at the moment. And he's like, every prison movie, you know, so what did you do? He's trying to get to the bottom of it. And our guy, Mata, just says, I didn't do anything. Say what? I didn't do anything. And he just kind of flicks him in the nose. He's like, if you didn't do anything, you wouldn't be here. So he, guy's not believed him all that much. Be straight with me. I'm not known for my patience, you know. So he came off pretty nice at first, but he's already made our main character bleed a little bit. And our guy's just staying with the story. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything. I only saw it. On my way back from school, I was climbing up the stairway to my apartment. I heard something strange. I debated going straight to my room, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. It was on the opposite side of the apartment. Once I found the source of the sound, a dead body. And our guy asked, did you do that? No, I didn't. I even saw someone who looked like the perpetrator. Was it a zombie? I mean, this is a pretty, pretty brutal scene. Or was it just an actual murder? Who knows? Maybe we find out in the story. After seeing the corpse, I was just standing there frozen. When I saw a figure stand at the top of the stairs, it had to have been that guy, but nobody, including the police, wouldn't believe me. So you're one of those falsely accused, huh? Well, it's just another bedtime story, eh? It's something that's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> so our guy, he's a little relaxed about it. He's like, I don't really care if you did it or not, but hey, it's a cool story. And then we meet the second person in Cell 4, Iwakura. I'm going to struggle on all these names. And he's like, let me introduce you. We know Meta is 16. And he's like, he got thrown in an arm, false charges. So at least he tells him that. And he's just like, I heard. And this guy is 17. He doesn't talk much, so don't take it personally. And, you know, he's, he's got a bullet wound. And he's also a little ripped. <laughs> and our guy's just in shock that there's a gunshot wound on him. So there's a bit of a story for all the inmates in here. Because you gotta do something serious to end up here, pretty much, is what the general consensus is from knowing our main character is here for murder. Think about what the other people have done. And so the... First, the leader is like, what's the use of claiming that you're innocent in a place like this where neither your lawyer nor your judge? Even if you claim that you're innocent, the chances of you getting retrial is next to zero. Government officials aren't going to raise a finger or something that could hurt their reputation. But of course, that's nothing new. If you want to be safe, you'll have to wait around for St. Nicholas to make an appearance. My name's Yamane Mitsuru, but everyone calls me Neumann. Nice to meet you, Mr. Innocent Madakun. So, you know, this is our, he's pushing up the glasses. Like, this guy is our resonant genius. He thinks he's smarter than everyone. And for the most part, he is. He is quite the interesting character. But let's move on. I trust we'll be able to get along. So, you know, there's a little handshake. This is our cast of characters. And they look like a pretty well-established group of friends already. They get along. And he's just being invited in. And he's like, yeah, I hope we get along. So we get a shot of the facility on the outside. And Maida-kun is, he's, he's a little shaky. He's nervous. So we're at the point in a zombie movie where we cut to the doctors. I'm not even going to bother reading it. We, we know it's a victim of attack. The doctors are trying to see what happened to him. He's like, this was the victim. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing. Oh, wow. He's got that brutal bite one on the side of his face. And classic zombie trope. The doctors look away. The body gets up. I think we all know where this is going. So, we get go into it. We're at a different spot now. The officer from yesterday died. Someone bit him. And we're actually with a woman on the computer. She's looking at the news. And it's like, honey, you said that you helped hold down a crazy man at some station. They're saying he bit the police officer to death afterwards. So... This is the wife of a police officer that held one of those crazy people down. And what do you think happened to the guy that held them down? And she looks back in the computer. That's so scary. You got a little while. You got bit while you're holding them, right? So she's now scared. And we just get a close up on the face. We know what happens to her. So that is how this manga starts. We've got a zombie apocalypse happening. Our main character is trapped in a prison due to a crime he did not commit. Did a zombie do it? Did a murderer do it? Who knows? But let's get into what you can expect from this manga. 
there is only 46 chapters so as i said before the chapter one recap this can be a quick afternoon read and let's talk about the fact that we are in the zombie apocalypse right this is a trope filled environment it's been done so many times it's hard to avoid the tropes at this point but here's the thing this manga does a few things that i really like first off the artwork is really good there are moments where you can really feel the fear in the scene and our group of main characters those four people we just met are quite interesting they have good backstories and it really makes the scenes more intense when you know that they are fighting for something they've got each other to rely on they're really good friends is what you'll see over the course of those 46 chapters and how does them being in this prison environment help them and at times hurt them that is something you really have to come to expect now the zombie virus itself is what gets a lot of the story building how are people reacting to it and what type of zombies are out there there's not just the normal walking ones. This is a zombie story that really focuses on the zombies themselves and the cause of it. Because there are some really frightening creatures out there. A lot of zombie shows like to say that humanity is the real monsters. But this is a manga that really focuses on the monsters themselves. If you're here for some crazy zombies... This is a manga you will enjoy. And there's the classic tropes of deaths along the way of the journey. And you know, it has an ending. So there's usually two or three endings for like a zombie piece of media. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to influence you. But I'm sure you have something in mind of how a zombie story could end. And I want to know if this story will mislead those theories you may have on how a story like this could end because i find the ending to be satisfying it is a well put ending i will say though it does feel like the author could have spent more time building up the world but if he felt it was time to end it financially or something i'm glad it got an ending and didn't just drop off the face of the map now what would i rate this novel or manga i'd give it a solid seven it's a solid seven if you like zombie stuff it's probably 8.5 because this is a interesting group of characters we fall around and the author does a good job of really making you care about them which raises the stakes which i like a lot but i'm just another reader thank you for watching